Good morning, everyone. My name is Jack, and I'll be starting us off with a prayer. Good morning, Good morning Jack. Jack. Dear Lord, thank you for these two men, Wilhelm and Jacob Grimm. Without these two great storytellers, no one would know our stories or the lessons that they teach. Please take these two to heaven with you and greet them with your loving embrace. Amen. Amen. I'd like Rapunzel to come up and say a few words. Rapunzel. Bravery, obedience, honesty, and destiny. These are just some of the lessons the world has learned from our stories. But today is not about our stories. It's about them and their story. The art of storytelling has been around for a very long time. But because of these two men, who many have come to know as the Brothers Grimm, children around the world know about us and have learned through our adventures. The Brothers Grimm were born only a year apart and were rarely separated from that time on. Wilhelm Grimm was known for the pleasant style of our stories, and Jacob Grimm was known for the language and overall structures of them. Why did I even bother coming? Had it not been for these two, I would have never made it out of my tower and met my prince. He would still be in that wolf's belly, and Cinderella would have still been cleaning in her stepmother's house. Jack would have never made his mother rich and happy. And so, with a heavy heart, we will be spreading their ashes together. Their sibling love will stand the test of time. Now, I would like anyone who wishes to, to come up and say their final words on behalf of the Grimm brothers. Glad to see all of you here, and um, I'm really sorry to see them pass. But I'm very happy to be here. Glad to see all of you. Um, all right, thank you. Well, um, if that's all that we have to say, let's move on to the reception in the next room, and let's try and think of the good times. Is he a bad spirit? I don't know, but why do you think he's putting all those candles by the air and do you think it meant something? I don't know, but he's a strange one. Um, who are they? I, I don't think I've ever seen them before. Uh, I don't know, but they must be her friends if they know the Grimm's. What do you want, princess? My name is Cinderella. Yeah, I know, it's Cinderella. We know you. You're famous. Oh. Um. I don't know you. Of course, of course you don't. Um. My name's Maiden Maylene. This is Godfather Death. He doesn't talk very much. But uh, of course you wouldn't know us. We're we're forgotten. You know. I'm sorry you feel better. Surely you're not forgotten. Please join us. We're your friends. No. No thanks. Um. See, I was locked in the tower for seven years with uh, just my waiting maid. And, you know, I loved my prince before I even married him on the spot, unlike some people. So, I, I don't <clears throat> think so. Oh, um, where, if, if you care to talk to someone, please join us. <clears throat> Good day. It's so sad to see them pass like this. I hope they didn't take any strange apples from someone. So no, Wilhelm was sick all of his life, and Jacob was 78 years old. I don't think they took any poison apples. Hmm. Well, what do you think, Charles? Snow, I told you, it's charming. Just mm -hmm. Prince Charming. No, I'm pretty sure it's not. Your name is Charles? Indeed. No, Jack, it's charming. And this is not about me, it's about the Grimm brothers. And yes, Jack is right, Snow. They died of a ripe old age, nothing more. I never did quite catch your name. I don't have one. Why not? I don't know, they just never gave me one. Why, Why haven't you, you just picked, picked a name, name for yourself? yourself? I don't know. They must have not given me a name for a reason. 
I have an idea. Why don't we talk about what we like about the Grimm brothers? Do you want me to go first? Yes, please, Mother. Please, you start. Well, I don't really like them all that much. They made me ugly and lonely after they let you go off and marry your prince. Mother, I said things we like. Now come on. No, fine, fine. I like the way the Grimm brothers always ended a story with a happy and moral ending. There, are you happy? Is that what you wanted to hear? Yes, please. Thank you. Now, you, Prince. Well, I'm happy that they let me marry such a beautiful woman like you. And with such lovely hair. It is wonderful, isn't it? The most, the prettiest and longest hair and all of the... All right, Rapunzel, enough with the hair. Uh, okay, um, sorry. Now, what about you? I am happy that they allowed me to live a happy, happily ever after with you. Oh. To the Grimm Brothers. Freaking old Grimm Brothers. To the Grimms! Oh, yes. to the Grimms. Yes. They made our stories come alive. If it wasn't for the Grimm Brothers, nobody would know about us or we wouldn't have been saved. So again, let's cherish this moment to the Grimms. To the Grimms! Well said. Well said. Well said. Look, they really did care for us. There's our names right there. They didn't forget us. It was hard to separate them, but I had the privilege of taking them to see their candles before they went up to God. I brought the candles for everyone to see. They were my favorite two candles and all the ones I had. And they say death doesn't have favorites. You spoke, Godfather. So those were their candles? Everyone has candles? Yes, those were their candles. You see, when your candle goes out, I come for you. Here you go. Make your mark. I've never signed one of these before. And I hope you'll never have to again. So, do we get to spread the ashes soon? Yes, Snow White will be joining us soon. Okay. Here, you should sign the book too. All right, everyone gather around. It's time to spread the ashes. Cinderella, Little Red, and Snow White, please come up. In the end, we all return to the woods. You remind me of the babe. What okay. babe? The babe with the power. What power? The power of voodoo. Who voodoo. Do, do what? You remind me of the babe. I, I saw my baby, baby. crying hard.